So ever since I got my Galaxy Note 10 two and a half years ago, I discovered the convenience of using a stylus on a phone. For my next phone, instead of getting the S22 Ultra, which is like another Note 10 and Note 20, I thought to myself, the 4th generation Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 might just be worthy enough to be my next daily driver phone. So I took the plunge and bought my first foldable phone. And I would say, it's a bittersweet experience. In this video, I'm going to tell you why and show you the annoying and delightful moments of how I used the Z Fold 4 over the last two weeks. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. Samsung has improved their foldables so much over the last four generations, and the 3mm increase of the outer screen made me think, this foldable phone outer screen might just be big enough to be a normal phone. And yes indeed, it is very functional and I don't need to always unfold to use the phone. I can do almost everything on the outer screen like a normal phone. It's the perfect size for one hand type swiping as well as two finger typing. See how I type a note using one hand and noticed how I can easily reach the left side of the screen using my right thumb. And the screen is also big enough to type with two thumbs. And when I unfold and use the inner screen, there are two ways I type on the inner screen. The first way is typing with two thumbs using the split keyboard mode. And the second way is to swipe and type with my Z Fold Edition S Pen Stylus using the floating keyboard. By the way, this is usually how I edit my YouTube script when lying on my bed. And while I'm on my bed, let me show you how I use my phone every night. It's quite a hefty phone, so handling it with one hand on the bed is actually quite tiring for my wrist. With the case on, the phone weighs about 300 grams. Well, the part that I really like about this is while I'm shopping on eBay, and when I need a bigger screen to see the things that I'm buying, I simply unfold. It's pretty amazing how we can have both a compact screen and a big screen both on a single device. By the way, I just ordered this beacon case because I don't like the current Samsung case in this video. I'll make another case comparison video after I receive the beacon case. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Up next, I'll show you the 11 ways of watching YouTube videos on the Z Fold 4. So this is the standard two ways we watch YouTube videos on any typical phone. Next, we can prop up the phone like this, using the folding mechanism. And now, let's unfold fully and start using the internal screen. In this mode, we have a right pane to browse upcoming videos, read the description and comment of the current video we are watching. After rotating, this is another mode where the browsing is done at the bottom of the screen while the video occupies the top. There are two columns of video to browse in this vertical format. And when I rotate it horizontally, it becomes three columns of videos to browse. Notice how tall the video is in this horizontal format as compared to the vertical format. The next mode is flex mode, 
where the browsing is done on the bottom half of the screen. And we can continue to watch the video on the outer screen like so. And finally, this is the last mode to watch YouTube video. Just to let everyone have a feel, I'm going to compare the Z Fold 4 screens with a typical 6.2 inch phone and a 10 inch tablet. Even though the outer screen of the Z Fold 4 is narrower, we can actually see more of the content from Google Feed. And this is how it looks when we navigate on Google Map. Of course, if we need a larger screen, we can always unfold and use the much larger inner screen. Google Map looks amazing on the big screen. And this is how a Google Docs document looks like on the Z Fold 4, compared to my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 10-inch tablet. Initially, I thought if I have the Z Fold 4, I might be able to replace my Tab S6 10-inch tablet. However, in reality, the screen on the Z Fold 4 is a lot smaller, which I regard both of them as different categories devices. Because of the 5 by 4 aspect ratio of the inner screen, 16 by 9 videos is actually a lot smaller. Notice the video is about the same size with my 6.3 inch Galaxy Note 10. Because the phone folds, I can stand it on its own at 90 degrees angle. What this means is I can easily shoot vertical videos like this one and post it on social media. Look at how stable it is as I pan the video, and all this without a tripod. There are plenty of times I wanted to shoot a product video when I'm out and about, like when I'm at a coffee shop, but I didn't do so because I don't have a tripod. And now, I don't need one. Apart from shooting panning videos, I can easily put objects right in front of the prop-up Z Fold 4 camera and shoot my product videos. Have a look at this video clips of my car key. Obviously, I don't usually shoot my car key, this is just an example. And in terms of photography angle, I love the perspective of this angle combined with the wide angle 50 megapixel main camera of the Z Fold 4. Just look at how nice my Logitech K780 keyboard looks. And on top of that, I get to see the preview of the video clips I have taken right at the bottom half of the screen. The cameras on this 4th generation Z Fold 4 are as good as any flagship phones. While on the topic of shooting videos, the 50 megapixel primary camera on the Z Fold 4 is truly very impressive. I shot my entire Galaxy Buds 2 Pro video on this Z Fold 4. The camera is so good. I'm considering using this phone as my main YouTube video production camera from now on, replacing my Sony ZV-1. The upcoming video is an outdoor video clips shot using my Z Fold 4. It's my Kafa Lime Tree. Well, my chopped down Kafa Lime Tree. Let's watch it again in slow-mo. Notice the details of the leaf and how stable the OIS image stabilization is. The fingerprint sensor on the Z Fold 4 is impressively fast. See how fast I can unlock in different scenarios while I explain. One of the best things of this Galaxy Z Fold 4 is the physical fingerprint sensor. Ever since all other phones changed to under display fingerprint sensor, I miss how fast and accurate physical fingerprint sensors were. And using the physical fingerprint sensor on the Z Fold 4 brings back a lot of familiarity. Given the Z Fold 4 is a thick phone, I thought of showing you how much it will bulge in my pants. So this is my thin 
Galaxy Note 10 in my pants. It's one of the thinnest phone on the market now. And this is the Z Fold 4. It's really chunky and thick. The cutting of my pants is comfort fit for your information. Something interesting to share, I noticed there are two plastic humps at the corner of the phone and I realized these two plastic are there to take the shock of the phone closing. When we slam shut our phone, these two plastic humps are the two points that will hit the other side of the phone. Just something interesting to share. Even though the hinge is very well designed, and there are literally no gaps that I can visibly see on the hinge, it is still IPX8. The Z Fold 4 is water resistant, so we don't need to worry about a bit of rain or wet hands. However, the problem is the X in IPX8, which means not resistant to dust or small particles. Last few days, I was outside doing gardening and I usually place my phone on the concrete floor. With my Z Fold, I'm like, nah, maybe not. Once a piece of dust or debris gets into the hinge, there is no way of getting it out. There are more annoying things about my Z Fold 4 experience which I'll make another video about. It has taken me too many hours making this video. I'll just give you a quick version here. The annoying part is with this Samsung S Pen standing case that I've bought. And as for alternative good quality cases, there aren't a lot of choices available on the market because this is a folding phone. I'm someone who is busy with work and I expect my device to serve me whenever I need them to. So the idea of a foldable phone did not appeal to me initially when the first generation of Z Fold was released because it's fragile and I had no time for my device to fail me. And after four generations, I'm happy to say that this Z Fold 4 served me really well over the last two weeks and it's a pleasant delight to use it every time I unfold. Happy run bedtime scene. First, use your fingerprints to unlock the device. I'm starting bedtime. <laughs>